So uh, Ford's day, this would have been the modern sawmill. Uh, most sawmills back in the day were just a shed roof with the head saw, which is the main saw. Um, you know, the, the head saw basically is, you take something round. By the time you're done, it's not round anymore. Whether it's dimensional lumber, two by fours, but this was more of a fancy sawmill. So you had um, a lath saw because they were still doing lath and plaster houses back in the days before sheetrock. But even when they switch over to the cranberry industry, this became more of a support for the industry. So the lath saw they're using for some of the packing boxes, like you have some old ones that came from a different farm over there, but they would take the strips of wood and put them like this on the side of the box with a little gap so that air could circulate through. And if any cranberries were picked that were uh, in the morning when there was dew on the ground, air would circulate through and they could dry out before they would start to rot. Now, when this was uh, built back in 1904, the previous sawmill was partially steam powered and partially turbine powered. So, when this was rebuilt, uh, the old mill pond to power this is actually the area right over here that became the cranberry bog. As the cranberry industry was expanding, they looked at that mill pond and said that would make an awesome cranberry bog. So, they went upstream to the current location, built a new dam, drained the uh, mill pond made out of cranberry bog and switched this over to steam powered. So there were, one time was a steam boiler where they were actually collecting all the sawdust they were generating as a byproduct of the lumber industry, <coughs> burning it in the steam boiler, and that would power an axle that goes it's in the basement underneath from one end to the other. And on the axle